Hey, so I wanted to show you guys a quick, easy way to make some adjustments to your line art when it's not perfectly black. Like in this drawing, this is by uh, Joe Mulvey, by the way. But you can see sort of like these lines in here from, you know, when he filled it in with a marker or a brush, whatever that was. One quirk that I have discovered is that if you have your inks on a transparent layer, like I usually do by, by going to edit, and convert brightness to opacity, which will put it on a transparent layer. But if you do that and try to open up the levels adjustments to actually adjust the levels, it won't let you do it. And, and the reason for that is there's no white on this paper, okay, on this layer. And you have to have your actual full spectrum in order to even do this. So the trick to get around this is to put a, a layer of white underneath and then merge it back down, okay? So we're basically putting it back on the original scan, okay? Now I'm gonna draw a selection here just so you guys can see the difference uh, in the two uh, as we go across. So compare what's happening in this box to what's happening outside the box. So now I'm gonna open up a levels adjustment. Now I did it with a shortcut, but you can right click new uh, correction layer and then level correction will also do it. There's three arrows. There's the arrow here on the left, one in the middle, one on the right. We're going to take the one on the left and pull it to this first hump here, which is really representing uh, the darkest part of this image, or what is actually the darkest part. Now, if you go past this point, it's going to start to add some artifacts. Okay, You can kind of see how up here at the top, it's starting, the lines are getting wider, and it's adding this bit of gray mess in the paper, and it just kind of looks ugly. So that right one really only needs to be pulled uh, usually till just past... Um, the darkest part of the image, which is that little hump on the graph. So now we've got our blacks black, but we've still got gray here on the paper. So I'm gonna go to the right arrow and just pull it past all of that little noise there that we see. And now you can see the difference if I zoom up in this little section. You can see what this side looks like versus this side. See how gray the paper looks here versus the white here. So now you've got a very nice uh, cleaned up black and white version of your drawing. So now I can just apply this to the rest of the image. So there's the before, there's the after, before, after, there you go.